TransLink board members listened carefully as the fare increase was debated. The room was packed with professional media and interested citizens, and they know that their vote today may have an effect on how citizens perceive them in next year's municipal election. The Bus Riders Union members wore orange t-shirts. One must think it was in solidarity to the orange revolution that's presently going on in the Ukraine. They have come out against the fare increase because they believe less people will use the bus system if the rates are raised. On December 8, 2004, the TransLink board met at Richmond City Hall to vote on a proposed fare increase they had been pondering for the last few months. Bus rider union members found an ally in Vancouver City Councilor and COPE member David Cadman. Members in the Observer Gallery broke out in applause when David Cadman and Burnaby Mayor Doug Corrigan voted against the fair proposed fare increase. The RCMP jumped to attention to escort TransLink board members out of the meeting after they voted for the proposed fare increase. David Cadman leaves the TransLink board meeting with his head held high, holding his TransLink budget books in his right hands. Vancouver City Councilor and COPE member Raymond Louie voted with Mayor Larry Campbell for the fare increase. As soon as the TransLink board voted for the fare increase, the Bus Riders Union broke out in the song of opposition and unrolled a banner saying, Bus Riders, Fare Strike. Some members with their orange t-shirts symbolically blocked the exits of the Richmond City Hall to show councillors that they opposed the fare increase that they had just voted on. Doug McCowan, who is the TransLink board president and the architect of many controversial projects this year, including the RAV line and this fare increase, is interviewed by the professional media. David Cadman was also interviewed by the media, asking him why he rejected the fare increase. Vancouver Mayor Larry Campbell is being interviewed by the professional media explaining the reasons why he supported the fare increase. Soon after this board meeting, Larry Campbell decided with three other Vancouver councillors to split from the Coke caucus and have their own caucus. One of the reasons stated was that Cope members did not support Campbell in the proposed fare increase for TransLink. There's more to the story yet to come.